Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got Happy Birthday Pauline at 72 Pauline 7272. It's an Instagram collaboration hosted by Tinkerbell 1970s and Nail Gems. Our theme was decals. I'll be using the ENA Pro Choice Nail Tips today. I'm going to apply a little bit of sticky base to these so that my, you know, polish and designs will stick to this. My nails are still in horrible condition. So, we've got Zoya Ono today. Beautiful cream polish. Kind of a berry color. And we're just going to get this on the nail tips real quick. I will be putting these on my fingertips at the end of the video and taking a swatch picture of them for you. So, you can see them on. I know it's not as fun doing them on nail tips. But that's the first coat of Ono. And we're going to go in for a second coat. And maybe one of these days I'll bite the bullet and buy a whole bunch of the, you know, wider Zoya brushes. But at this point, I'm just not feeling it just yet. But we might get there. All right. So we're going to go in with a third coat of Ono. Um, normally, these are two coats for me. But this one, on this particular day, it ended up being three. I am going to top these with some Sesh Feet. Get it to dry down so we can do our decals. Now, you could have used water slide decals, decals of any kind. I'm going to make my own decals today because I'm crazy like that, you know. I'll be using this Manitude X Gonkin Around Plate. It's got a whole bunch of gonks or whatever. And this one is Gnome Pun Intended, also by Manitude. I'm going to get these plastic films off of these. And wipe them down with a little bit of acetone and alcohol real quick. Get them ready. I do have some clear jelly stamper plate cleaner coming. I'm very excited. And we're going to give that a try. Uh, today I'm going to start off with Maniology's Straight Up Black. I've got a Maniology scraper and a whole bunch of little cube stampers out today. Because we're decaling. I'm making a bunch of decals. I'm so excited. I have wanted to do gnome or gonk nails forever. I mean, they got hot last year, and I kept thinking, oh, well, I, I don't need it. I'm okay. I'm okay. And then they just, like, blew up trend-wise, and they're just so stinking cute. So, I decided to go ahead and order some plates. A lot of my plates are, like, Christmas or Easter, but some of them you can use anytime. Got that little mushroom. That's not really a gonk or a gnome, but it's still going to be a decal, so I'm not busting any of the theme here. <sighs> but we're going to Gnome Land today. I'm so excited about this. You guys just have no idea. I've been waiting to do this for so long. All right, got to clean up that excess with a little sticky piece of sticky tape. All right, I'm going to pick out another one. And I am just going back and forth over the two plates and picking a bunch of different images. I'm really still working very hard to get through my unused plates and my unused polishes. Now, when I do manage to get through my collection and do a collection tour, um, I will try to be pulling polishes out that made it into the collection and got stored away, but that I've never worn. So, I'm trying to take care of what's already in my untried bucket. Because a couple of years ago, I started making a severe effort into not letting them slip into the collection in the drawers and the racks on the wall until I wore them. Same thing for stamping plates. I don't want them going into the holders until I've used them. So we're going to get through what I've got going on and then I'll get through, I'll go back through my collection and then I'll be pulling stuff. So I'm cleaning my plates off, cleaning my mess up with some acetone real quick. Got to get these put away so I can, or cleaned up so that they can get put away. And hopefully I won't have to do this alcohol thing later. We've also got Maniology's Bam White, and this one is Front Page. And Sweet Peach. Next up is Caramel. Or Caramel. Got my little teeny tiny dotting tool out today made a mess getting that out on my stamping plate, so 
I mean, stamping mat, not plate, my stamping mat. I know a lot of people do use their stamping plates to put little drip drops of polishes on to work from, but I, I, I just use my little stamping mat. I am going to pull out probably another color or two later on as I get these, start getting these painted in. Um, I might need some more colors, but we're just going to start with these for now. What I like to do is take my one color and go through, put a little bit of that color on all of the stamps or the designs that I'm using and then head on to the next color so that my paint's not drying out, my polish isn't drying out while I'm bouncing between all the different colors. Um, this video is a little bit longer because of this, because of this kind of stuff that I'm doing here. And I'm just trying to use, I'm really going to try to use all of the colors on all of the decals so that they are cohesive and go together and all that good stuff, but we'll see. Sometimes it doesn't work out like I see it in my head. Being very, very careful. And I bounce between using a dotting tool, the brush from the bottle, and using a skinny like detail brush when filling in designs so there's no real rhyme or reason you do what works best for you what you feel most comfortable with and um it, it'll be okay i think i ended up with too much of a blob of paint on the end of my dining tool so i wiped it off on my paper towel because these are tiny little images with lots of little detail to them and you guys know I'm shaky, so we've got the shaky factor going on today. I'm going in with little pink noses. I don't know why I decided to do pink noses. Um, I don't know. I guess in Gnome Land, you can do whatever you want. Once again, that is why I like nail polish and doing things, because you could have anything be any color you want it to. You could have a rainbow done in you know, like natural looking colors, you know, like all tans and browns and stuff. You could do anything. You could do a goldfish blue. It doesn't matter. You can do what you want. And that's one of the things I really love about nail art. And I really do like the unusual. I mean, I'm kind of doing like a normal here. Um, but I, I like things that are, you know, out of the box colors. If you've been around for a minute, you kind of picked up on that, I'm sure. And here we go to the next one. These are just so cute. And it's it, there's a chance I'll be doing some more gonk slash gnome nails in the future. Because I've got a bunch of plates. Like I said, I'm trying to make it through them. So it might be off season, but we're still going to get in there. Alright, now I've broke out caramel or caramel. Depends on where you're from, how you say it. I think down here we pretty much call it caramel. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, so cute, so cute. Before I forget, I want to wish our friend Pauline a very happy birthday. And if you would like to check out the other decal manicures over on Instagram, I will have, at a bare bones minimum, some hashtags down below to follow. And hopefully a list of participants that way, if you'd like to go check them out, then you're, you've, it's easy access that way. Oh, these are just, uh, I'm just eat up with them. All right, so here we go. I, th I do believe that is coconut. It's like one of my favoriteest poli stamping polishes slash polishes ever. And I do like to use stamping polishes to fill in images, but I'm, I don't hold myself to that. If, if I've got like regular, just regular nail polishes that I like, then a lot of times I'll use them too. <clears throat> Love their little beards with their little noses sticking out from under the hats. That's just adorable. Oh, if it would just focus. There we go. Heavens to Betsy's. The technical end of my channel is still on the struggle bus. Um... I keep thinking, oh, I'm getting there, I'm getting there, but then I realize, nope, I'm not there. <laughs> I'm not. All right, Bundle Monster is number eight, this old green one. 
Thunder Monster, of course, is Maniology now, and um, I still have a lot of stuff that's in the old branding packaging. And uh, but for me, it's all the same, you know. Um, Thunder Monster, Maniology, it's all good. <clears throat> And these are coming along. We're getting getting down to the nitty gritty on it, down to the little bits and bobs left at the end. Just trying to tap them in, tap, tap a little, because you don't want to brush it over. You'll mess up the the lines that were stamped on. Which I've done that before too. You guys know. I've been known to do it. I'm working really hard to steady my hand, y'all. All right, astronomical. This beautiful blue. It's also bundled monster labeled, but maniology. And I'm sure anything that I'm showing you that says bundle monster on it, maniology has probably um, repackaged it, maybe renamed it. But and you don't have to use the exact same colors I'm using. You could use what you have in your own collection, and I highly recommend that. Because if if you do like I do, you'll end up with a bedroom absolutely full of all of it. Too much. There it goes. He's so cute. Oh, I just love these. So much fun. All right, so I'm going to use Vibrant Vinyls Get a Grip. It's a sticky base coat, and you just apply a thin layer. You don't have to go on thick with this, and just let it sit for like a minute, 30 seconds a minute, so... Let it dry, and then your decal sticks where you want it to, and it lays pretty flat. Adorable. Sweetness. Overload. Oh, my goodness. I am just so excited. So happy to share this one with you guys. You can tell it's cold here. I'm wearing long sleeves. <laughs> I don't hardly ever wear long sleeves. I don't like them. Tap, tap, tap. The little mushroom turned out awesome. Schnazzy. Oh, goodness. Love these. All right. So, they're all done up. We're going to top these with the smudge-free top coat because this side of the decal does not have anything on it, and I did not want to smear them. After that's dry, I'm going in with the fast-drying top coat from Eliana's collection. Being very careful still, even though I use the smudge-free look. I put a lot of work into these decals. I did not want to ruin it doing my top coat. Oh, lovely. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to see everybody else's manicures. Alrighty, here is my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.